relative to the resolution as they wait for the reams of documents they've subpoenaed members of legislative committee looking into the GWB lane closures and the resulting traffic nightmare are settling in for what could prove to be a very long process there hasn't been hard and fast deadlines given which we might get to next if information doesn't continue to flow. Rather than fizzling, as some critics had predicted, the investigation into this matter continues to widen and deepen, including a suggestion now of a larger role by the Port Authority Police. Port Authority Executive Director Patrick Foy has reportedly called for an investigation into whether this man, Lieutenant Thomas Chip Michaels, drove David Wildstein around while the traffic piled up. Wildstein's the former PA official who right allegedly gave the go-ahead for the September the lane closures. Michaels, like Wildstein, is a Livingston native, friend of Christie, former coach for Christie's son's hockey team, and brother of Republican lobbyist Jeff Michaels. I've known him for a long time. We went to high school with, we, our families knew each other from Livingston um, and uh, just stayed in close contact with him over the years and uh, was very pleased to help his campaign out with policy. It's not a huge circle of people, but they, several of them seem to have gone to Livingston High School. So I don't know what I, I, I don't know what kind of civics courses they give at Livingston High School. It might be interesting to find out. No, Christie's office said today that the governor had never talked with Lieutenant Michaels about the GWB lane closures. This latest revelation follows on the heels of charges by several motorists who reported that Port Authority police told them to ask Fort Lee Mayor Mark Sokolich about why the lanes were closed. Attorney Rosemary Arnold represents several motorists who are suing the governor and the Port Authority over the lane closures. When my client asked the toll booth operator, hey, what's going on? A Port Authority cop who was in earshot responded, why don't you ask your mayor? At the height of the traffic crisis, Sokolich repeatedly told Christie administration officials that he was hearing the same thing. Come Thursday, it's happened again. Kids are late. Chaos. A million emails. I got one gentleman was, I mean, you got no idea the calls that I was getting. At that point, I was almost convinced that it was retribution. The Port Authority press office wasn't taking calls today, and Weinberg says the committee has yet to receive documents from several key players including the governor's office and Port Authority Chairman David Sampson, which she Outline says they'll need to see before they can schedule another public session. Happened. In Fort Lee, I'm David Cruz and JTV News.